Hello, everybody. I have something a little bit different for you all today. This is a portion of the initiative and surprise video that was previously published that I had cut out and removed at the 11th hour of putting that video together. In that video, I provide four different examples of how initiative and surprise might work using the same scenario for each of the four different examples. And originally, it was five examples, and I actually created a fifth example, recorded audio for it, put all the timings into the video and so forth. And then in the 11th hour, just decided, you know what, this example really has less to do with initiative and surprise. It is really all about perception and how perception is based on a creature to creature basis instead of a universal basis. So I removed it from the published official initiative and surprise video, but I don't know. I've been sitting around thinking I've, I've made it. It is together, and who knows, maybe somebody out there would find benefit in seeing it. So I've decided just to kind of quickly and formally throw it together and put it up. And uh, if people like seeing previously cut footage or small examples, um, then let me know. And this might be something that becomes a regular topic or segment for the channel. And as always, I always appreciate you folks uh, giving me your thoughts and feedback and suggestions on what you would like to see in the future as well. So without any further ado, here is the previously unreleased and cut fifth example from the Initiative and Surprise video. Let's reset the scenario one more time. The heroes are walking down the road and a group of goblins are waiting in the woods to ambush them. But this time, we're going to take things from the top, and we are going to re-roll everything. Just like before, once the players enter the general vicinity of the hiding goblins, the GM rolls stealth checks for the goblins in secret. They have stealth skill bonuses of plus 5, and they receive another plus 2 because they are in cover. Goblin number 1 gets a 22. Goblin number 2 gets a 12. Goblin number 3 gets a 16, and Goblin number 4 gets a 21. These stealth totals are then compared to each player's perception DC. Ezrin has a perception DC of 14, Lenny's perception DC is 17, and Mauricio has a perception DC of 16. So in this case, Goblins 1 and 4 succeed their stealth check against all of the players. But Goblin 3 failed its stealth check against Lenny, and Goblin number 2 failed its stealth check against all three players. This reveals the presence of something to the players, and the GM calls for initiative to be rolled. As before, the Goblins keep their stealth checks and use them as their initiative totals. Meanwhile, Ezrin rolls Perception and gets a 7. Lenny is given the choice of either rolling Perception or Nature, and chooses to roll Nature for a total of 25, and Mauricio rolls Perception for a total of 24. All participants in the encounter are then ranked by their initiative totals, highest to lowest, which means Lenny goes first, then Mauricio, Goblin number 1, Goblin number 4, Goblin number 3, Goblin number 2, and finally, poor old Ezrin at the end of initiative yet again. That should all feel familiar, but things get a little bit tricky here. States of awareness are established on a creature-to-creature -creature basis. So in this example, Goblin number 1 and Goblin number 4 are undetected by all of the players, and Goblin number 2 is hidden to all of the players. But Goblin number 3 is undetected to Ezrin and Mauricio, but it is hidden to Lenny. None of the goblins are being observed yet by the heroes, as failing a stealth check while undetected only makes you hidden, not observed. So instead of placing goblin tokens on the map, the GM instead places a generic token in one square and then tells the players, you see a brief flicker of movement somewhere around here in the brush, and then places another generic token 
and says, Lenny, you also hear the sound of a twig snapping in this space, but only you, Ezrin and Mauricio, you don't know anything is here. No goblins are placed on the map since none of the players know what exactly is lurking in the woods yet. So at the top of the initiative order, Lenny goes first, which is fortunate because she's the only one here who knows something is up with generic token number three space. With her first action, Lenny seeks. She rolls a perception check with her bonus of plus seven and gets a total of 22. This is then compared to each goblin's stealth DC of 17 and she succeeds. As a result, the state of awareness for each of the goblins moves one step. Goblins 1 and 4, which were undetected, are now hidden to Lenny. So the GM places generic tokens in their spaces and again reminds Marissa and Ezrin only Lenny knows that there are creatures hiding here. And goblins number 2 and number 3 are now being observed by her. The GM then reminds Ezrin and Mauricio that they do not know that there is a goblin in goblin number two space as it is still hidden to them and they still do not know anything is present where Lenny is observing goblin number three. With Lenny's second action that turn, she uses point out to make goblin number one hidden to everyone and with her third action, she uses point out again to make goblin number four hit into her allies as well. That's the end of her turn, and the encounter proceeds as normal from there. With that, we'll bring this video to a close. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, and don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss out on our future videos. Leave us a comment letting us know what topics you'd like to see covered in our future videos, and we can always be reached through our Twitter and Facebook pages too. If you'd like to use some of the maps that we feature in our videos in your own games, you can find them at Maps of Mastery. A link to that store can be found in the description. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you soon with more basics for your favorite tabletop games.